chill, no chill, no chill, for real. No chill, no chill, no chill, no chill, for real. First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. My, 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 how things change. I remember, nah, you don't remember, when Rat Beef was on records and not on Twitter. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. I don't know if y'all heard, but Kanye and Wiz Khalifa got into this Twitter beef like a couple days ago. Kanye, aka my pops, decided to change his album title from Swish to Waves. I fucking hated the name Swish. I thought that shit was hella stupid. And Waves is just a little bit better than Swish. Like, it's cool. But it's not, it's nothing in comparison to So Help Me God. Like, So Help Me God sounds like some by any means type shit. Like, So Help Me God sound like an album from a nigga who got a rap to feed his family. That's what I thought. I thought this was gonna be some super hungry Kanye. And then he changed it to Waves. I mean, then he changed it to Swish. And then he changed it to Waves. So I'm like, eh. Hopefully music fire, that's all I know. Well, Wiz Khalifa, who apparently is a Max B fan, had a problem with that because from what I read and what I hear, Max B is like the inventor of like the wavy, wave, waves kind of thing. And he like coined it as like a slang kind of term. So where it don't mean like actual wave shit, you know? So that's like kind of like his thing, I guess. I never knew because who the fuck listens to Max B? Like the only time I ever heard Max B voice is on a French song. Like that one intro from French first album, uh, Excuse My French. That was the only time I ever heard Max B voice. And I was like, okay. And I heard him say wavy. So I, I mean, like the story kind of makes sense. Wiz being that avid Max B fan that he is, decide to tell Yeezus to change his album title from Waves back to Swish. So Wiz, you gonna get this work, nigga. Sir Khalifa, when was the last time that you made a fire song, let alone a fire body of work? The last album I liked from you was ONIFC, and even that shit was only a little bit better than Yeezus, and I fucking hated Yeezus. So that says a lot about the shit that you be making ever since you got on. Fuck Yeezus. And you? Of all people try to tell somebody to change something, how about you change the fact that you've been rapping about the same shit since like 2007? Hmm? How about you change that? Smoke weed, fuck bitches, get money. That's it. That's all you bring to the world when you do music. That's all. Smoke weed, fuck bitches, get money. That's all. And you gonna try to tell somebody to change something? How about you change that shit? Hmm? Maybe I'll actually listen to your fucking music then. Maybe you won't just have a fan base full of niggas who like weed. Maybe you actually have real hip hop fans. Be no, probably not. Nah, that shit is sale. My fault. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Whatever. How about the fact that the first single off your new album, which I only know about it because I'm subscribed to you on YouTube, and I keep checking, hoping that you gonna make another cushion orange juice, which probably ain't gonna happen. But I'm like that girlfriend whose boyfriend keeps cheating on her, and she just hope that he gonna change. That's how I am with you, Wiz. Cause you was so good before, bruh. Like, Cushion Orange Juice was a fire ass project. And it was about the same shit that you do now. But it was excellent for some reason. Now the shit you do is just fucking whack. Like, Bake Sale sucks. That shit is terrible. <laughs> Lick my nuts. But the first single, Bake Sale, is a fucking G Easy beat. Like, that shit is a G Easy song. Like, how you gonna try to tell somebody to change something, but you took a nigga whole beat? You changed a couple things things because initially when you put it out it got copyrighted because it was the exact same beat so you took the same beat changed a couple things and put it out and the song still sounds the fucking same it's the same chorus pattern it's the same verses the same auto tune it's the same everything how are you gonna try to tell somebody change something but the first single that you just put out like you put it out like a couple days ago before you went on this rant you gonna try to tell somebody change something but you just bit off some other nigga like what the fuck and I fuck with G Easy, but what the fuck? Like, go away, Wiz. I'm done with you. Bring in Amber. Hi, Amber. You fine motherfucker. I don't want to do this to you, but I'm sorry, Amber. You gonna get this work, nigga? 
How you have a whole movement about not shaming people and then turn around and try shaming nigga for liking fingers in his butt? I don't even know if he like fingers in his butt, but you said that shit and you tried to shame him for it. How is your whole movement gonna be about that and then you turn around and do it? That's like me being like an avid black power person, right? Like a black supremacist. And then I turn around and shame somebody for enjoying being black. Like what is you doing? That's like precious calling somebody fat. Like get it together my nigga. You either gonna be 0% about this shit or you gonna be 100% and you not gonna shame nobody. Because if you don't like it, why the fuck you doing it to other people? Hmm. But did you forget that the only reason why we know who you are is because of Kanye? Like did you forget? I think you might have forgot. Because we wouldn't know who the fuck you are if it wasn't for my dad. You only relevant because of him. If he ain't ever find you in that strip club, we wouldn't know who the fuck you are. And then after y'all broke up, you was cool for a little second, then you died off, and then Wiz came in the picture and made you relevant again. And you've been holding on to that shit ever since. Like, don't be disrespectful, bruh. That nigga got you on. That's like Kim disrespecting Ray J. I still love you though. Not really, because I have commitment issues. But you cool. Dad, I'm sorry. You gotta get it too. Pause. We gonna get this work. We gonna get this work. Now, your whole rant was funny as shit. Fucking hilarious, bro. But did you forget that you married Kim Kardashian? Did you forget that you married the OG porn star? The OG reality TV person? Without Kim, there wouldn't be as many reality TV shows as there is today. She coined that shit. She the reason why TV is exploding with dumbass reality TV shows like Keeping Up With The Kardashians. She the first person to ever get fucked for the fame. But like, how, how can you say that he let a stripper trap him when you married to like a porn star. It just, it don't make sense, Kanye. It don't. Now granted, her and her mom flipped that goddamn sex tape to a fucking empire for everybody. Like everybody in their family is rich now because of that one sex tape. Now, that's way more than Amber could say, but it doesn't make you any better. It doesn't make him any better, fam. And when you was talking about how Wiz ain't make a good album and shit, now he probably hasn't. Like he, he really hasn't. But don't forget, you made Yeezus. That was the last thing that people heard from you. Now, Yeezus is like the equivalent to every Wiz Khalifa album since he went mainstream and like Amber's whole career, but it was still terrible. Like, come on, son. Amber, again, call me though. Nah, you probably don't want nothing to do with me. It's cool though, fuck it. I go to the strip club, find me another bitch. I'm not gonna go to the strip club. I'm not wasting no money on no bitches. So yeah, it, I just had to get that shit off my chest. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment what you think about this whole situation. Uh, share the video, helps the channel grow, you feel me? We on our way to 100 subscribers, it's lit. And uh, subscribe to join the gang, cause we lit, and I'm up out of here, peace. She